Hey, I'm Carrie, and I'm so happy to be here. After all of the postponing and procrastinating, here I am ready to show up and start sharing um, so many cool things with you. I am a life coach and energy worker. So one of the things I like to often say is that I do beyond coaching. And um, I am super excited to be able to start sharing cool Cool, cool stuff with you. I also have a couple partners and we own a meditation studio together. So I probably will refer to that a whole bunch because we see a lot of really amazing people there in addition to the super amazing people that I work with in my practice. And I'm just excited to be able to start sharing some cool stuff with you as well as amazing other professionals that I meet along the way that I think could be valuable to just share their message and share what they teach and what they share with others. So some of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you here, first I mentioned that I am a life coach and energy worker. So I will be sharing tons of info, um, lessons that I've learned, tools that help um, from the coaching world as well as the cool things that I practice and use on a regular basis that are energy work. So I'll be talking about energy work a lot. Um, that is paying attention to our bodies and paying attention to where we have stored trauma, stored emotions. That's really like one of my jams that I love working with people on is clearing out old emotions that are no longer serving us. So coaching and energy work two of my loves that I've combined into my personal practice. Um, and a couple other things that are huge key points that I will bring up all the time are awareness. Um, so as we step into something and we start to look at changing things, making things better, that first piece is always going to be awareness. What am I seeing in my life? What are the patterns? What is showing up for me? And just like starting to just have this super broader, clearer vision of what's going on. So awareness is key. And sometimes we don't even do anything until we spend a long time, quite a bit of time in awareness. Um, and then the third thing that is a huge, a huge piece for me in becoming better, a better version of ourselves is taking on personal responsibility. Because as we go through and I share things with you and we do this work, the foundation is that we cannot change other people. Our lives are made up of experiences, um, outside influences, all those things. All we get to control and focus on is our personal, how we show up individually, doing our own personal work so that we show up as the very best version of ourselves. So that personal responsibility is huge. And remembering just for so often, like I'll have conversations and I'll ask like, okay, so how are you feeling about this experience or how did this affect you? And people, it's super easy to want to shift over to, well, my spouse said this and I just struggled or if he would. And that's always like, I, I let, I let people go for a couple minutes and then I always bring it back to, but how do you feel? How do you feel? Because all we get to do is worry about ourselves. And the magical thing about doing this work is that as we do work on ourselves, the things in our world change. And it's so, so cool to watch that. So where we can't change other people, we can't change the influences and forces in our life, we can change ourselves. And by changing ourselves, things around us start to magically change. And that's where, um, the energy work is a, an integral part because we talk about vibration and um, the energy that we put off from ourselves. And so the better we get at showing up as the best version of ourselves, the things around us will change and, and get better. And we will begin to attract better and better things into our lives. So I hope that you will stick around and share this. And I'm so excited to bring you cool people, cool interviews, cool lessons, um, all that kind of stuff. And if you have questions, if you have something that you would have liked to ask a life coach, but you don't have one in your life, drop it in the comments. So I would love to have you subscribe and show up often. Okay. Thanks so much. See you guys soon.